So don't even bother saying it. I'm not a Nintendo YouTuber. If you say it to me on Twitter, I will tag the FBI. I've done it before and I will do it again. But this is an update on a situation that we talked about a couple of months ago. And I deemed it Nintendo's big nightmare because when you think about what Nintendo hates the most, well, it's emulation and piracy of their systems. It doesn't matter if it's an old system or a new system. They seem to treat all of these things rather equally. But when it comes to the Nintendo Switch, obviously, that's going to be a bit more of a higher priority than something like an NES or something like that. Now, we talked about a product called the MIG Switch, which was a brand new flash cart coming out for the Nintendo Switch, where you could essentially load ROMs onto there and play them on your Nintendo Switch. You didn't need to hack your system or anything to do that of course the workaround for it was oh you dump your own games and then you put them on your switch but i mean let's be realistic M most people aren't going to do that i'm just calling a spade a spade here but one of my questions that i posed in those initial videos was well are more companies going to kind of follow suit is this going to be a widespread thing like we saw with the nintendo 3ds and the nintendo ds and yes it does seem like that is going to be a thing. Nintendo's nightmare got exponentially worse with this new announcement of a new product. So we're going to talk about it in today's video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, but let's hop straight into this. This is coming to us from a write-up from Wololo. Wololo, I believe I'm saying that correctly, but rumor. Unlock Switch claim they have reverse engineered the MIG Switch and have a clone underway. The MIG Switch, like I said, a product... We're, you know what? I'll save that for the end of this video because I have a lot of things to say about the MIG Switch, the company MIG Switch, some of the things they've done, and some people are going to get offended by it. So I figure I, I should save that for the end of the video for the, for the diehards who watch till the end of the video. But here's the product here. You can see they have unlockswitch.com as the website. That is the branding for this product. And we can see the Unlock Switch um, logos here. It's kind of a nice logo here. But scrolling on down, you could say... Um, we have basically the summary here. Could be a April's Fool's jokes, could be a bunch of nothing, but it doesn't really seem like that to me. The rumor is to be taken with a bucket of salt because it comes from a completely new Twitter account and the demonstrated unlock switch device doesn't seem to do more than the MIG switch, meaning there is no way at the moment to say this isn't simply a MIG switch with a different sticker on it. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind as we take a look at the stuff here. You can see the actual MIG switch product here and that does kind of play a role, so keep that in your your mind as we scroll on down here but here's essentially what sort of just spurned onto the internet um the unlock switch twitter account came out and said yes we have hacked and cloned the mig switch today we are improving it and we'll present our evolution to you shortly our solution unlock switch is 100 compatible with all nintendo switch consoles up to version 18.0.0 so as far as i remember and recall that that is the current firmware that the nintendo switch is running at right now will they do subsequent updates as new firmwares come out i would imagine they would but i said to remember the the image here but i'll just show it to you again you can see that there's like a black with a, with a red thing here but like they kind of just like reversed it and it's like black with a red thing here instead of red with the black you know, you know what i'm saying here they they, they inverse the colors here you see, they the, the cartridge itself is like a red, and then they have a black logo over it, where this is a, a red logo over a black cartridge. Something to kind of keep in mind. And yes, they basically say that they have reverse engineered the MIG Switch product. They also made another tweet saying, Hello, everyone. I am pleased to announce that the LED is also green here. Prior to next Monday, I'll be introducing myself in video. That's very interesting. He tagged some content creators. Yeah, because wood... Wood's really, Wood's really into it's modding and stuff like that. You couldn't tag me, bro? Well, what's the problem here? But then you can see a better look at the product as we see it here. I mean, it looks like a product, circuit board, all that sort of stuff. You can see it inserted into the Nintendo Switch unit here with the green light on there. But let's just say that this is a clone is essentially what they're saying. You know, and it very well could be. They have a demonstration video up as well that honestly reminds me a lot of the mig switch demonstration video that we saw they basically show the firmware in this um to show you that yes it, it is a modern firmware they show you the cartridge itself sticking it into the system as well and it booting up and having a game to play and then we go on to proceed to play the game take it out stick it back in and it's still there. Take it out, stick it back in. Now that is interesting because I guess the the mentality I have with this unit 
is that oh there's the second game so there is your um mario 3d world plus bowser's fury so it is cycling through the games and they also say that the unlock switch is not available yet for sale or for pre-order we are still finalizing its development the available samples are only for showcasing our solution we will keep you updated on its progress here on x step by step until the final production scheduled for april so obviously there's a lot to unpack here with this, but just looking at it from a surface level, it does kind of seem like just a reverse engineered MIG switch product where they got their hands on a MIG switch. They're making their own version of it that they can sell. Maybe they'll do some enhancements to it. I mean, they did say that they are um, having an evolution to this product. So what that really means, like, is it going to need these formatted because like with the mix switch you have to have a certain format um in order to play the games they had the games have to be in a certain format is this going to be a more open format with something like that i mean who's to say i will be following their twitter account to stay up to date on this because i am very interested in this and you know it it, it, it is what it is like these products are going to be coming out more and more now that this sort of thing has been broken but i want to talk about the initial product the mix switch because it's April and I still don't have mine. I thought I was going to have it in January and then they sent it out to select YouTubers and they've been doing all the content on it. And as far as I know, everyone that I know that bought a mix switch has not received theirs. I have not received mine. John has not received his. MBG has not received his. I don't know if I'm supposed to name drop that they bought one, but I mean, of course they bought one. They're going to want to check it out to see how it works. I know uh, Joshua Butts, aka the Butts Man, who is a member of the Spawncast Patreon network in one of our after shows that he was talking to me. He said that he ordered one. He hasn't gotten it, but select YouTubers got their hands on it. And it seems like they got their hands on it before the consumers did. But not only that, there's been like no information. There was an email that was sent out at the end of February that said in March, you are going to have your product in hand. Like I said, it's the month of April. So what am I getting at with this? I'm not even sure if the MIG switch is like a product that's actually going to come out. When you think about all the things that they've changed with this, it used to be it came with a dumper and it was the dumper and the MIG switch cartridge all together in one. But then they were like, oh, wait, we don't have enough dumpers so we're gonna have to split it up but then magically they got more dumpers in but they just charge you more money so like if you wanted more money for the dumper and the cartridge combination it should have just been that way at the start but the fact that these youtubers seem to be getting it and you know just it's just select youtubers and they have all the information and they have all the updates on it but nobody else has any information on it it just looks a little bit suspect to me. I'm not trying to say that like there's some massive conspiracy with the people that did get a unit to review. And there's nothing wrong with getting a unit necessarily before, you know, the 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 consumer gets it or anything like that. It's kind of like a review code. But the problem is the lack of communication with this and the fact that it's been several months now since we've last been updated and we were supposed to have this product in hand. But we haven't seen it yet. So I kind of have my doubts about the MIG switch to begin with. And if by the end of this month I don't see one, I will be delving deeper into what the MIG switch is. And that's the reason why I'm interested in this. Because if this is a product that actually comes to fruition, if they make it into production by April and they're able to release something before I get my MIG switch in hand, it, there's a lot of weird stuff going on with this. How did they get the MIG switch? Are they working with MIG switch to to get rid of the MIG switch name because there was something tied into that with the Russian Federation? There's a lot of weird stuff going on with this. But at the end of the day, like I said, this is Nintendo's new biggest nightmare. When your flagship system, at least a flagship system for the end of 2024, is now easily available. You buy something for $100 and you're able to put any game you want onto that cartridge. Stick it into your Nintendo Switch with games getting dumped so easily by reviewers because... I mean, I don't think we can argue that people with review copies, someone, one of those people, is the person putting up these games because it has to be. How are they getting them so early Then you know, even retailers would get them in most cases? 
it's going to be a weird situation. I don't think it's going to be super detrimental. It wasn't super detrimental to the DS or the 3DS, but I do feel like with the rise of the internet now, because back during the DS and really even the 3DS time frame, Twitter wasn't a big deal. You know, if you knew about it, if you read it on some forums or something, that was one thing. But with it, with Twitter being so big now, it's just such a huge glutton of information always thrusted into your face that even the casual person who doesn't really know much about this sort of stuff can easily get access to this information, learn how to do it, and now they don't really have a reason to buy games. What do you think about this situation, though? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you pre-ordered a MIG Switch, did you get it? Because maybe it's just a regional thing with this. I, I don't know. Some of the people that I watched that I saw got the thing. They seem to speak English. So I don't know if, if it's a regional thing or if I got scammed, what the case is with it. And as always, guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think of everything in the comments section down below. It's really late at night on Monday night, but I wanted to make this because I wanted to sleep in tomorrow. But Nintendo, they're probably very pissed off right now. And I almost wonder if they somehow pinch the dude in Russia. The dude in Russia is pivoting to this. And then this is what's going to end up on my front doorstep. Like, I have a lot of questions about this. And I guess they'll be answered over the next few weeks. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.